Have you ever considered what it would be like to live life as a porcupine? Well, prepare to be intrigued as we unveil the world of these spiky creatures. Porcupines, known for their distinctive coat of quills, are one of nature's most interesting characters. With over two dozen species scattered across Asia, Europe, Africa, and the Americas, these nocturnal mammals have tailored their lifestyles to survive in a variety of habitats, from forests and deserts to grasslands. Their most recognizable feature, the quills, are in fact modified hairs coated with thick plates of keratin and can number in the tens of thousands. But there's more to these creatures than meets the eye. They are excellent climbers, have a varied diet, and their interactions with humans have shaped our perception of them. As we delve deeper, you'll learn how porcupines are far more fascinating than you ever imagined. Imagine having thousands of sharp quills as your primary defense mechanism. Now that's an intriguing thought, isn't it? Well, for porcupines, it's simply a part of their daily life. Porcupines are armed with a rather unique and effective defense system, their quills. But how do these quills work, you ask? Let's delve into that. Each porcupine carries about 30,000 quills on its body. These quills are, in essence, modified hairs coated with thick plates of keratin, which is the same substance our human hair and nails are made of. What makes these quills special, though, is their structure. Each quill has a solid, smooth shaft that ends in a hollow, barbed tip. When a porcupine feels threatened, it raises and fans out these quills, making it look larger and more intimidating to potential predators. The barbed tips catch and hold on to the attacker if they're foolish enough to come into contact. Contrary to popular belief, porcupines do not, I repeat, do not shoot these quills at their predators. They're simply too valuable a part of their defense system to be thrown away. In fact, the quills are loosely attached to the porcupine's skin, so they easily detach when a predator comes into contact. Once lodged into the predator's skin, the barbed tips make the quills difficult to remove. Moreover, each barb has tiny overlapping scales, which when viewed under a microscope, resemble a rose's thorns. These scales point backwards, allowing the quill to move further inwards with every movement of the predator, causing immense discomfort and discouraging any future encounters. So, the porcupine's defense strategy is more about deterrence than attack. It's a fascinating example of how nature has equipped different species with unique survival mechanisms. So, the next time you hear about porcupines shooting quills, remember, it's a myth. Porcupines simply use what they have in the most effective way possible, making them one of the most uniquely defended creatures in the animal kingdom. Did you know that porcupines are excellent climbers? Indeed, these prickly creatures are surprisingly adept in the trees. They're not just ground dwellers as you might initially think. Porcupines are equipped with strong, curved claws that they use to grip onto tree bark, allowing them to ascend to great heights with agility and precision. These claws are not just for show. They're the primary tools that enable porcupines to explore their treetop habitats with such prowess. But their climbing ability doesn't stop at their claws. Have you ever wondered how these creatures maintain their balance while navigating the slender branches of trees? The secret lies in their tails. Yes, that's right. Porcupines use their tails as a counterbalance while climbing. This helps them maintain their center of gravity and prevents them from toppling over. Imagine being able to scale a tree with the ease of a porcupine. They make it look so effortless, don't they? But don't let their nonchalance fool you. This is a skill that takes years to master and is a testament to their adaptability in a variety of environments. Porcupines are often seen as slow and unathletic. However, when it comes to tree climbing, they're in a league of their own. Their unique combination of strong claws and a balancing tail makes them among the best climbers in the animal kingdom. It turns out, porcupines are quite the acrobats of the animal kingdom. What do you think a porcupine eats? You might be imagining a carnivorous creature gnawing on small rodents or insects. However, the truth is far less gruesome. Porcupines are primarily herbivores with a particular fondness for plant material. These spiky creatures have a diverse palate and their diet varies according to the season. In the summer, they feast on a smorgasbord of leaves, fruits, and flowers. The winter months, however, see a shift in their dietary preferences. 
As vegetation becomes scarce, porcupines turn to the inner bark of trees and even resort to gnawing on the wood itself. Now, you might think this makes porcupines a nuisance to the forest. Quite the contrary. This bark-eating habit plays a vital role in maintaining the health of the forest. By stripping away the old and diseased bark, porcupines help to stimulate new growth in the trees. In a way, they're like nature's very own gardeners, tending to the forest and keeping it in good health. Porcupines also have an affinity for salt, which is relatively rare in their natural habitat. They are known to venture into human settlements in search of this mineral, often licking road salt off cars and other objects. So, while their diet may be simple, porcupines play a complex and crucial role in the ecosystem. They are not just consumers, but also caretakers, contributing to the cycle of life in their own unique way. Porcupines, the nature's very own gardeners. You might be wondering, what happens when porcupines encounter humans? Now, that's a prickly subject. Porcupines are not naturally aggressive creatures. They would much rather spend their time foraging for food or climbing trees than engaging in a standoff with a human. However, if they feel threatened or cornered, their defensive instincts kick in. Imagine this. A porcupine's quills are its suit of armor. When danger looms, they puff up their quills, creating a formidable wall of sharp spikes. Now, contrary to popular belief, porcupines cannot shoot their quills. But if a curious or threatening hand gets too close, the loosely attached quills can easily detach and embed themselves in the skin. This can cause painful injuries, and removing them can be a tricky process due to the barbed nature of the quills. So, while we might marvel at these unique creatures from a distance, it's important to remember to give them their space. They are wild animals and should be treated with respect. In fact, in many regions, porcupines are protected by law, and it's illegal to kill or harm them without a permit. Porcupines and humans can coexist peacefully, as long as we remember that they are not pets or playthings, but wild creatures deserving of our respect. And if we respect their space, they are more than likely to respect ours. Remember, respect their space, and they will respect yours. So, what have we learned about these spiky wonders? Porcupines, these prickly creatures, are far more than just their famous quills. They're a testament to the beauty of evolution and adaptation, with their spiky defense mechanism making them a formidable presence in the wild. Each quill, a modified hair coated with keratin, can detach easily upon contact, making any predator think twice before making a porcupine its meal. But they're not just about defense. Remember, these creatures are skilled tree climbers too. Their sharp claws and strong tails not only help them navigate the heights with ease, but also serve as an aid in their search for food. Speaking of food, porcupines aren't fussy eaters. They enjoy a broad diet, munching on everything from bark and stems to fruits and leaves. This adaptability in their diet helps them thrive in diverse habitats, from forests to deserts. Porcupines and humans have a unique relationship. While their quills can be a nuisance and their appetite for wooden structures problematic, they also play a crucial role in our ecosystem by controlling pests and facilitating the growth of new vegetation. In conclusion, porcupines are a marvel of nature, showcasing an impressive blend of adaptability, defense, and survival. Their unique characteristics and interactions with the environment around them make them a fascinating species to study and admire. Porcupines, a testament to nature's diversity and ingenuity, truly are one of a kind.